I'm Dr. Arun Kumar, a general physician. So in this video, we will talk about a condition called as lymphatic filariasis or commonly called as elephantiasis. So lymphatic filariasis is caused by um, the infection of a parasite, uh, which is grouped under nematodes. We call it round worms. So the organisms are Ucereria, Bancrofti, Brugia malai and Brugia timori. This disease has endemicity in many states of India and WHO has declared it as a neglected tropical disease. How does the infection occur? The parasite is transmitted to humans through mosquito bite. As the mosquito bites, the microfilaria or larvae is transmitted from the skin into the circulating blood and lymphatic system. Blocks the lymphatics and cause swelling of uh, legs, arms, genital areas, uh, scrotum, breast, etc. The clinical features are presented as acute, chronic and asymptomatic. In acute cases, along with fever, swelling of legs, arms and uh, genital areas can be present. This swelling gradually increases, recurrent infections occur, finally the limb is deformed. In chronic cases, this microfilaria stays in the body for almost 10 to 15 years. This not only causes a physical deformity in the patient, but also a socio-economic crisis due to poverty and isolation. Coming to the diagnosis, earlier we had investigations like peripheral blood smear, which is done particularly at night. Uh, currently we have the circulating filarial antigen, uh, CFA test, we have ELISA, there are CAR tests available. Coming to management and prevention, there are drugs available uh, for lymphatic filariasis. Our government has a national program for uh, elimination of lymphatic filariasis. Microfilaria survey is done by the government. Door-to-door uh, -door mass drug administration is carried out. Deworming drugs are distributed for the prevention of lymphatic filariasis. Thank you.